So you're thinking of moving to Dallas, Texas? Well, today we want to discuss new construction over on the west side of the Metroplex, more specifically the northwest area in the cities of Argyle and North Lake, specifically three great master plan communities that still have a lot of new construction options, as well as the fact that the communities have a lot of homes already built out, a lot of amenities already in place. So definitely something to think about when relocating here to the Dallas area. And we are going to get after that right now. What's up, everybody? I'm Kristen Carpentier with the Living in Dallas team located right here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. And if this is your first time to our channel and you want to know everything there is to know about what it's like to eat, sleep, live, work and play here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and hit that bell for notifications. I am a licensed realtor here in the Dallas Fort Worth area and my team and I are getting calls, texts and emails every single day from people wanting to make that move here. So whether you're moving next week, next month or even next year, don't hesitate to reach out, give us that call, shoot us a text, send us an email, and let us know what we can do to help you make that smooth move here to the Dallas, Texas area. All right, so we are over in the cities of Argyle and North Lake, and surprisingly, there's actually a little bit of the city of Flower Mound, but for the most part, it really does encompass two major school districts over on the west, uh, the northwest side of the Metroplex here, which is the um, school districts of Argyle and Northwest ISD. So these three great master plan communities have quite a bit of new construction still available. So if you're looking for that great master plan community, literally it has all the amenities you could think of it from trails to fitness centers, lots and lots of community events, multiple pools, and all the things that your family could want to participate in. We have that available in both of these and all three of these communities. But because it's in an area here in Dallas that a lot of people don't really talk about necessarily, everybody's always, you know, leaning towards uh, the north part of Dallas or a little, or even more on the east side. So if you are working in the Denton area or even down into Fort Worth or obviously over in maybe Flower Mound, South Lake area, these are some great locations that give you great access to hop on the freeway and to get up into Denton or down into Fort Worth or anywhere over on the west side. So definitely something to think about um, if you want a great master plan community and you want all of the amenities and you actually still want to get into a new build. New build, new construction is kind of where it's at right now. A lot of incentives and opportunities are available for people wanting to purchase new construction. So all of these communities actually have homes available and you know great incentives being offered right here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. So like we said, a lot of people don't give the West Side as much love as they need to, but with so many people working out this direction, it's a great area. So the first one that we want to talk about is the community of Harvest. Now, Harvest is the one that is closer to the 35 West Freeway. So if you're working up in Denton, you just hop right on that freeway and head straight north. It is super easy to do. And let's kind of get into this map here and we'll show you a little bit of where it is at. Now we kind of want to show you right here where um, the Harvest community is. It, Like I said, this is the 35 West Freeway. And if you zoom out a little bit and kind of show, like you have Denton, just like I said, right straight up north up the 35. And so for the most part, Harvest by Hillwood, this great master plan community right here is conveniently located right here off the 35 freeway, which is, you know, if you're commuting a lot, you're having to drive all over the Metroplex, you are needing to get to work and you want great access to freeways and different things. Um, that's a great area. Granted, there's a lot of construction going on. The further south you get down here towards Fort Worth, that's where a lot of construction is. A lot of businesses and things are coming in here. So construction on the 35 West can kind of be a nightmare. But at the same time, if you're living in Fort Worth and you want new construction, this is a great master plan community. So this is the Harvest community right here. Like I said, right off the 35. And price points in Harvest range from about the mid 300s up to about the low $900,000. They do have townhome style um, houses. They have patio homes. And some of these areas are a little bit more conducive to um, say you're 55 and up, it is not zoned for 55 and up, 
But there are some great areas for, you know, kind of like the empty nesters, people who want a little less room, but they do want to be part of a great master plan community. Because everything here in, in Harvest, they have really everything you need. So here in Harvest, they have a lot of things for the people that live there. And this whole section that goes right through here in the community of Harvest is pretty much like right through the center of town or right through the center of the community. Um, you see this Harvest Barn. You see um, like ponds. There's a great fitness center. They have a great stage if you want to, you know, for they where they put on events. There's big screen TVs, picnic tables. So you can just go out there and have, you know, your own family barbecue. And the, the areas out there, like I said, tons of picnic tables, grills you can use. Um, there's a great basketball court. There's a couple, but there's actually a couple of basketball courts um, down along here. And when you go further down, it does get you down to this um, lake area down here, swimming pool, playground for kids. So this community really just kind of a central a central meeting area for all of the homes and all of the people that live around in here. But like any great neighborhood and community here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, there are a lot of walking trails and parks. So, you know, when we have gone out here to this neighborhood, there are always people walking up and along this great grass area and center, center meeting point here within the community. So lots of... Um, Lots of reasons to get to be outside. Tons of trees being, you know, that are continuing to grow, get bigger. So eventually this is just going to be one big, great master plan community. There are a couple of elementary schools in here which do feed into the Argyle Independent School District. And they are getting ready to build a middle school as well. So right now, like I said, all of these students do go to Argyle High School. Some of them can feed off into uh, the Northwest Independent School District as well. Um, that's kind of like how it is out here. Like you kind of think, you know, you think it's Argyle, you think it's um, North Lake, but you're not totally sure where it is. Um, in fact, I'm always calling it Argyle, but Argyle is definitely a little bit more on the other side, but you put it in and you just never know. Somebody's calling it Argyle, somebody's calling it North Lake, but you do kind of need to see the map of where everything is because the map of North Lake right now is just kind of crazy. Um, I think mainly because there is so much growth starting to go on over here. A lot of these areas used to be big, huge farmland, um, which, you know, now they're being developed into um, these great master plan communities. So when you pull up the Harvest Community website, it just goes to show how much, how many things that they put on out here. See all this big green space? This is exactly what I am talking about the barns, the activities, the concerts, the playgrounds, and it just is a great area to get the community together. And as you can see in 2017, 19, and 2022, it was rated as the master plan community of the year. And it was also rated in 2022, the people's choice community of the year. So obviously everybody loves living here. We have had multiple people that we have talked to who just said it is just, you know, a fantastic area and community to live in. Um, granted, if you are more on the east side or have to travel to the east side a lot, this might not be the community for you. Because if you kind of go back and if we click back over here into the map of where it's at, when you kind of see, say you want to go over to Frisco, for example, lots of stuff going on in Frisco. Um, when you're all the way over here off of the 35 freeway, it's like you either have to go up here and take this awful 380 highway over and down into Frisco, which nobody likes right now because of the construction going on. Or you do kind of have to go all the way up and around on the 35 to get over maybe across the lake or down this way. So it can be kind of a pain if you're needing to get over to the west side. But for the most part, if you're working, living, and you don't have to go over there that often, this is a great, um, this is a great area. So when we kind of go in here and show you where it is in relation to, like, I mean, say you do work in Dallas, right? Um, as you can see, it's going to take you maybe 42 minutes. Well, chances are that's probably not going to happen. These roads get really busy um, to get down into Dallas. So, I mean, you're probably looking at at least a good hour, but at least you do have freeway access to get down into Dallas. And so, you know, but maybe you are traveling for work a lot and you need to get to the airport. Well, actually that isn't nearly as bad as a lot of the other areas 
around the Metroplex because you do have the freeway that you can just hop right on and take the 114 down to the airport. Granted, construction, it gets really busy down along these roads during rush hour traffic, for example. But, you know, I guess if you need to go up and around, you can always do that. If you need to cut down through Flower Mound, you can do that as well by living here in Harvest. So it's just, you know, something to think about. A lot of times, you know, people are just so drawn to thinking they need to live up in the Prosper Frisco area. And some of those areas have just gotten to be very, very expensive. Um, and it's not for everybody. People don't really love how far some of those cities are, you know, if it just doesn't fit into your lifestyle. Obviously, if you're working in the Plano, Richardson, or maybe, you know, some of those areas over there, that's great. But here on the west side, you just have a lot more access to a lot of these other areas and people just don't really talk about it as much. They think they need to live in these cities, but at the same time, you know, people want newer, people want great master plan community. And a lot of times people don't want to have to deal with all of this stuff on their own. They like having the HOA because then they can have pools. They can have access to all of the amenities right within their master plan community. But Harvest is definitely a great one to check out. Um, if you have any questions, about, you know, the school districts and, you know, whether it's Argyle or North Lake, you know, well, actually <laughs> Argyle, North Lake, who knows what your address is going to be? Because if you look at it, it really does come up with both of the cities. It is um, technically in the city of North Lake if you pull up our regular maps. But, you know, I guess you can be the judge when you talk to the post office about that. I don't know why Texas, I feel, is a little bit screwy. I've always called it one thing until you kind of look at it. But Addresses are in here. Realtors seem to do whatever they want into the MLS system. So when we pull up this map right here of the actual community and where everything and what everything is around the Harvest community, as you can see, this green strip is the green space right here. You have the two elementary schools, Argyle West Elementary School, and then the Lance Thomas Elementary School. And then up here is actually, this is up here in the north part of of the development is where the future middle school is going to go. So right here within a community and who doesn't love that to have your kids be able to walk to school, ride their bikes to school. It's great. In fact, if you're through here, so many people have golf, um, have golf carts that they can go pick up their kids from school. So you do see a lot of that and tons and tons of kids riding their bikes out here. We we're there after school one day looking at some houses and the kids were all out playing basketball and just running up and down this green space. But then, you know, you're thinking of what amenities. I mean, maybe I'm kind of out in the middle of nowhere and I don't have anything at my fingertips. But right down here is where all of your retail is going to be. Tons of retail stuff is coming in. Um, you can see right here you have a Papa John's pizza. I think there's an orthodontist. Um, different restaurants, cafes, and just a little bit of shopping. Some Certainly stuff. more stuff is coming in here. Certainly there's going to be a lot more things being built, but since it is fairly new, there is just not tons going on right now. There are some gyms down in here, the print shop and boutiques, nail shops. So pretty much kind of everything you really need within the city, you're going to find right here on the south end of the Harvest community. So like I said, a lot more is coming in. There's a gas station right there next to the freeway. So you're never going to be at shortage for running out of gas on your way to work. But Definitely lots of options here within Harvest. The second community that we want to talk about is Pecan Square. So both of these communities, uh, Harvest and Pecan Square, were actually both developed by Hillwood. Somebody who had just like a great vision of how to build these master plan communities, everything at your fingertips, and just a lot of reasons why you would absolutely love living within the community. So Pecan Square is just right down the street from Harvest. This is Harvest, so you had down 407 a little bit further and you get down here into Pecan Square. Okay, so we are out here in Pecan Square and we're kind of hiding out over here in what they call the arena, mainly because it is very windy outside today and we're getting blown all over the place. But this is a great place to start because this is really the hub of Pecan Square. As you can see in here, it is this gigantic barn that they call the arena and it has everything out here. So a lot of times people don't have these big massive backyards, especially in some of these master plan communities. And so they create this big, huge gathering space where you can literally do anything. They have, I mean, I got to show this to you. This is probably my most favorite part out here. They have pizza ovens, um, wood-fired pizza ovens. They have grills, fire pits. And if you come in here, it is filled with couches and picnic tables. There's 
you know, a bar area you can set up if you're hosting any type of, I mean, you can host a birthday party, you can host a company retreat, you can host your family reunion out here. And it is certainly going to have room for everybody out here. And even over on the other side, they have a pickleball court, they have basketball courts. And if it's raining, if it's windy, if it decides to snow, for example, here in Texas, which doesn't happen very often, you can do anything out here because it is big, wide, and open, and you can do whatever you want out here. I mean, especially if, you know, I mean, think about it. Come out here and cook dinner, grill, hang out, have your family Sunday dinner on, on the weekends, and then go roast s'mores in the fire pit. It can't get much better than that. Another great thing about living in this community is that they have a great meeting space. If you need to get some work done say you typically are able to work from home but you have your kids home or maybe it's just too crowded or maybe you actually like having a designated workspace they have a great area that you can go in and plug everything in put your headphones in keep it quiet and actually get your work done or host you know like a little um, work meeting over there as well you can have clients you can have friends come and meet you over there so another great option and you can also reserve that and get a caterer and host work events over there too. Now, of course, living in a master plan community, you have all of the amenities that you could possibly want. Areas to go walking, they have dog parks, they have pools. In fact, they're building a big new second pool here in this community. They have splash pads, they have parks for your kids. So pretty much everything you wanna do over here in this neighborhood. Now, we do wanna to touch on the fact that there are new build opportunities here in pecan groves. People are continuing, like I said, to ask about new build opportunities and where could you go. So where North, where Pecan Square is here in the Argyle, North Lake sort of area, it is further north up on the 35 West Freeway. Um, north of Fort Worth, north of North Lake. Um, some of these kids, but the kids over here do feed into the Argyle School District. But if you work up in, let's say Denton, for example, or over in Flower Mound, or maybe you even work down in the South Lake or Fort Worth area. It is very convenient to get to the freeway so that that way you can get all over anywhere here on the west side of the Metroplex. This probably isn't the place for you if you're working over in Richardson or the Plano area. Yes, we do know that some people have done that, but the commute can be quite long because you kind of have to take the 35 West Freeway up and around to the 35 East Freeway or take the road up north and over into those types of areas. But if you work anywhere on the west side and you want a great master plan community, this is definitely going to be one that you're gonna to wanna to check out. Another great part of this about this community is that the price points are a lot more reasonable than some of these other areas. Price points right now are about mid 400s up to the $900,000 range. You have you know, your townhouse style homes and you also have your Toll Brothers homes and multiple builders in between. So you do have lots of options for living over here. And like I said, you don't need a big, huge backyard with a swimming pool because this community offers all of those options for you. Another feature that we love about this development is that they have a central place to receive your Amazon packages. A lot of people are a little bit nervous about leaving, you know, Amazon always dropping off packages on their doorstep and they actually have lockers in here that Amazon can drop your packages off and you can go and retrieve them. So you don't have to worry about being gone all day and having your packages left on your doorstep. So another feature that somebody who had moved over here said that they really loved because they didn't ever have to worry about making sure that they had their neighbor get their packages or you know making sure that the packages were still there in the afternoon. So we did kind of want to show you this central hub here in the con square. We did show you, you know, we have the grills and the fire pit and those kinds of things. But over there, we have this whole great area, like I said, you know, events and pools and splash areas and lots of things that your kiddos can do. So, or, or you, maybe you like to go to the pool when all of your kids are at school because you can have a little bit of peace and quiet. And that is definitely a great option as well. Pecan Square is a 1200 acre community. And like I said, it is still continuing to build homes in the area. Lots of homes actually for sale if you don't want to go through the whole building process and you maybe want to hopefully find a good deal on a home that has been slightly lived in. There are lots of options over here, but 
when this community is done being built out, there's going to be 3,100 home sites when it's a complete build out. It's not quite as big as a lot of these other developments, but it does have varying types of homes and varying types of price points within this community. So here we pulled up the master plan site map of Pecan Square. It is a 1,200 acre community. And when it's done being built out, like I said, there is still new construction going on, still multiple uh, builders who have new builds um, that you can purchase actually right now. In fact, they're starting to sell off some of the model homes and we actually saw signs that they're building two brand new model homes. So obviously, I guess changing up the models a little bit here in the community or just you know providing something new because people are tired of the old thing, I guess. But um, this is another fantastic community that won you know, the Master Plan Community of the Year, the People's Choice Community of the Year back in 2021. So obviously tons of people living, love living out here. So, you know, sometimes people are thinking Dallas is just so huge and I don't want to live so far out in the middle of nowhere. Well, it's not in the middle of nowhere. It's right off the freeway and it does, it's not even that far, like I said, to get up into Denton and to go do your shopping over in the city of Flower Mound or Highland Village. It's not that far off to be able to go do that. But this area right down through this um, through the community, more green space. You can walk, trees, hang out, play. And they also have another really pretty area that heads out in the other direction as well. So you kind of have like these two big massive green spaces. But not in addition to all of that, you have parks, multiple pools, uh, the spray ground, playground, splash pad, whatever you want to call it. So... As you can see, this is a great interactive um, aerial view of Pecan Square. Now, this green space right here is what you head in down off of 407. So as you head south down into the community, you have these beautiful homes that line this area right here. And then you do get down here into kind of like the hub of this community right here. And here's what they have, what's called the greeting house. So your workspace, um, say you are hosting, you know, a business event. Um, it's almost kind of like the cutest little coffee shop. Um, you can have a cocktail hour, but definitely um, a great meeting area if you need to host a meeting or you just need a quiet place to get your work done. So it's really, really nice that they have this big central location for all of these things that go on within the community. But, you know, like I said, they have multiple other areas with dog parks and playgrounds all throughout here, and they're still building. You can still get some great buyer's incentives with a lot of these builders that still are trying to unload some of the houses right here within this community. So you can get townhouses, you can get single family homes. A lot of them really don't have um, huge backyards. So like we said, that's why it's so great that they have a lot of these play areas for the kids. Um, you probably don't want a pool in your backyard, not that you can't have one, but a lot of people just really do enjoy the fact that they have multiple ones here within this community. Now we head further south to talk about our third community today, and this is the community of Canyon Falls. So if you can see as we zoom out a little bit, it is actually more on the east side of this 35 West Freeway. It's right in between the 35 and the 377 Highway. Um, that travels down from uh, Denton down through Roanoke Trophy Club and down into the South Lake, South Lake area. Actually, you can take it all the way down to Fort Worth, but it's right here in the middle. Now, the thing with Canyon Falls is a lot of it is zone for the city of Flower Mound, but um, it's kind of encompasses Flower Mound, Argyle, and North Lake. So just kind of depending on which side of the neighborhood you live in and where exactly you are, um, Depends on which city you live in. So I know it does get confusing. It's a little crazy, but all the kids here for the most part are zoned for Argyle High School or uh, Northwest ISD, but you do have Argyle High School right here within the community of Canyon Falls. Um, you also have a couple private schools, Liberty Christian um, in the area. So if you do want that option, that is definitely something else you can look into so when we kind of get in here and show you the directions of, you know, how far it is to everything, because you get, like I said, a little bit further down the freeway, um, you're not quite so far north. And same thing, it kind of shows you how to get down into Dallas. You're a little bit closer, 37.8 miles. You can take the 377 down to the 114 and take this uh, freeway right down into Dallas. So, you know, 40 miles, but you're still looking at probably at least an hour, definitely. 
with rush hour traffic because these roads, especially this 377 can, well, you can see it's already kind of being becoming a nightmare right now when we're talking about this. But as long as you can get on the freeway, it's really not that bad. Um, it's just more of like kind of getting through here. And if you have to drive right at rush hour traffic, but then also to get over here to DFW airport is about 20 miles. So same different, same thing. You get down the 377 and then this 114 freeway down through South Lake to get to the D um, DFW airport. So when you're kind of looking at, uh, Canyon Falls and you're thinking, where am I going to do my shopping? Where am I going to go? Um, go out to dinner with my friends. Well, you can either get over here into the Flower Mound area, um, but you also have a lot of options down this direction, down into Roanoke. Downtown Roanoke has some great areas, but taking this 377 right down here into the South Lake area, a lot of um, great restaurants are. Um, most of it is outdoors, but we do love going over to South Lake quite often. There really are tons of options over there and we absolutely love it personally. That's where we, um, that's where we go a lot, especially on like date nights and stuff, but you can also take the 35 freeway down as well. Um, the Alliance town center is growing like crazy. Tons of things are going in all along this 35 West freeway. But if you take this 377 you, and head further South past Roanoke, um, and then you get down into the city of Keller and right off here is a lot of restaurants and old town shopping and old town Keller. That's great as well. So it's super convenient to get to multiple areas by living within the community of Canyon Falls, especially if you're heading up into uh, the Denton area. So Canyon Falls is another great master plan community. Um, but like I said, it encompasses three cities. So something to think about if you're totally concerned about your tax rates or the school district or that kind of thing about where you're going here in Canyon Falls. But as we kind of get in and kind of show you around the community of Canyon Falls, they have a great website that you should go check out. If you want to see what a great master plan community has and every, all of the amenities that you can participate in, this, uh, community of Canyon Falls is going to have 1800 homes when it's done being built out. So it's still, like we said, under construction, a lot of the stuff has already been built. So it's not as, it's not like being in a completely new community where all you see are work trucks all the time. A lot of it has already been done. So we personally kind of like something that's been a little bit more established. We don't like being the first one in because you get nails in your tires and that kind of thing. But but the homes here in Canyon Falls can range anywhere from around 400,000 upwards of about 1.2 million. So it does have a huge range of home prices. So depending on your budget of what home you can get into, but it is a newer community. So all of your homes aren't going to be super old. If you're more concerned about getting into an older home with maybe already having foundation issues, hopefully we're not having that yet here in Canyon Falls. But when you kind of uh, go in here and look at some, I mean, they have a great clubhouse in here. They put events on in here all the time from wine tastings to cooking classes, um, you know, happy hours, lots of businesses come in here and put on events for the community. And as you can see, there's kitchens and it leads right out here. There's a great patio that overlooks this one of the swimming pools. But you can come sit out here. I mean, say you want to just sit here with your friends and eat lunch while you're watching the kids in the pool. You can definitely do that. So we absolutely love a lot of these amenities that they offer here. And this is just one of the uh, this is just one of the pool areas, playgrounds, splash pads. I mean, think about being out here in the summertime. They have these great coverings over the playgrounds for the kids. The kids can run from the water over to the slides and the jungle gyms. And then back over here to the pool as well. So this is a great area to come and spend the day out with kids. I mean, oh my gosh, I had four, I had four kids. They were all two years apart. And back when they were little, I wish we lived in a master plan community like this. We had to find, you know, the public pool and beg friends to let us come swimming because we didn't have a lot of that near us in Arizona, as hot as it was, it was kind of crazy. Um, we did have obviously some options, but just thinking of one of these great master plan communities back when my kids were little, if we would have had, you know, these options to be able to in my, entertain our kids all day long and wear them out so they would take a nap. And they do have dog parks. And like I said, they have multiple uh, builders that are still offering homes out here in the area. So like I had said before, 
If you have any questions about what it's like living in one of these communities, if you're wanting to know what some of the incentives are going on by a lot of the builders out here in the area, we are getting emails, texts, phone calls every day, it seems, from a different builder offering, you know, how they're changing it up, what they're offering to new clients to get in and purchase a home. There is a lot of availability in a lot of these communities still. So if you are truly looking for a new build, don't hesitate to reach out because we can also, I mean, maybe a new build isn't your thing and maybe you just want that move in ready house and you're not too worried that somebody's lived in it for a couple of years, everything's still been upgraded and maybe you have your coverings on your windows and a lot of those upgrades that you don't wanna have to worry about. They have those options already coming out in a lot of these communities as well. So you can buy an established house or you can buy a new build. It just kind of depends on what your budget is, what exactly it is you're looking for. But this is why we always say reach out to us. Let us help answer those questions. If one of these communities is right for you, obviously, if you're interested in a new build on the west side, northwest side of the DFW area, give us a call. Any other questions about an existing home anywhere in the DFW Metroplex or what it's like living here, please reach out to us. We love helping people make that relocation here to the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and we love seeing what we can do to help people make that move that much easier. So don't hesitate to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and let us know what we can do to help you make that smooth move here to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. 